Let me say good night to everybody, and I'll start off by recognizing the Minister for Tourism, Investment, Creative Industries, Culture and Information, Honorable Dr. Ernest Tiller. Next to him is Mr. Mario Rez. He is the chairman of our Airlift Committee at the St. Lucia Tourism Authority. We have Mrs. Anya Whitfield, who is our officer in charge and chief financial officer. Ms. Palton, representing JetBlue. And she just arrived on the flight tonight, so thank you for squeezing in the time to be here with us. Mr. Paul Collymore, who's the president of the St. Lucia Hospitality and Tourism Association. We have Ms. Krista Joseph here. She is the airport manager here at Huronur International Airport. Mr. Richard Moss, our senior sales manager, particularly for North America. Our chairman, Mr. Thaddeus Antoine. And to your back is Ernie George, sales representative, and I'm Jorin George, the PR manager for the St. Lucia Tourism Authority. So let me say welcome to Captain Johnson and First Officer Ferreras. I hope I got that right. All right. <laughs> and tonight you brought in what is our daily double from JetBlue. And this marks a significant milestone for the destination. It really speaks to the demand that is in place for St. Lucia. And of course, we continue to promote the destination internationally. So at this time, I'm going to invite to the podium Our Chairman of the St. Lucia Tourism Authority, Mr. Thaddeus Antoine, as he delivers remarks. Good evening. My task this evening is a very simple one, is to welcome the JetBlue crew and welcome the JetBlue flight to St. Lucia. This is indeed an inaugural flight for us in that it's the first time we're having a flight coming in at this late evening, if you like. Uh, I call it a very special flight because one could leave the New York area at, in the evening, about 5 p.m. in the evening, and you in St. Lucia about 10 p.m. in the evening. And likewise, on your way out, you would leave by 11, and by 4.30, you're back in New York. Um, we just made the point earlier that one could actually go to New York for the, for the day because you could potentially land in the morning and leave in the evening and you're back home for one day, which is spectacular uh, for those who are going to shop, uh, probably on Fifth Avenue or Madison Avenue. <laughs> this is spectacular. For us in St. Lucia, this flight is very um, important. Um, we know it's an initial flight, which is going to last for about a month for now. Uh, we are trying it out. Last year, we had carnival over the summer. and. While persons found their way into St. Lucia through very different routes, getting out was very tough. And your flight now, among other flights, will now increase the, the number of seats on the flight, gives us some 40,000 more seats um, in the summer, which is going to be very helpful for us moving people coming for Carnival. And we presently have cricket as well. I recognize on your flight there were some persons who came for cricket because they were, in, they were wearing branded cricket um, apparel. So I knew they came for cricket. Um, for us in St. Lucia, uh, we, tourism is our main economic stay. So when we get a flight like yours, it helps improve our tourism industry. It helps improve the economic situation on island, it creates more employment. Um, it just creates business opportunity for our people, and it's very important to us. St. Lucia continues to grow as a tourism um, destination. Uh, by next year, we should have some 2,000 more rooms, and with more rooms, you need more flights into the island, more seats into the island, and that's what JetBlue does for us. We've had a long-term partnership with JetBlue, which started in 2009, and it continues non-stop. And we're hoping, we have daily flights, but we're hoping now we'll have more and more flights and we end up being double daily every day throughout the year. So once again, welcome to St. Lucia and do ensure that you have a pleasant stay while you're here. Thank you so much. Uh, good evening. I'm um, a little unprepared because I ran out of a classroom <laughs> to the gates and I said I better put my thoughts together because I may forget what I'm here to do. So on behalf of JetBlue and leadership in New York and the crew in St. Lucia, I wish to recognize the protocol already established and wish to everyone present a good evening. JetBlue welcomes St. Lucia 
JetBlue welcomes to St. Lucia the inaugural red-eye flight from New York International Airport to Hiwanora International Airport, Viewfort St. Lucia, for the upcoming travel period. This would now be a part of JetBlue's double daily flight. I took that from Jermaine. <laughs> JetBlue recognizes the continued support of the government of St. Lucia, the St. Lucia Tourism Authority, the Air and Seaport Authority, who over, over the years have allowed JetBlue to grow in St. Lucia and once again achieve another milestone. We thank you. Thanks as well to our crew members in the U.S. and St. Lucia who all make it happen. We recognize importantly, as well as we wish to thank all our customers who continue to support JetBlue and ensure we can expand our services. JetBlue remains committed, JetBlue remains excited about this additional service and thank everyone again. Have a good evening. Good evening, everyone. Please allow me to adopt the protocol already established. On behalf of the management and staff of the St. Lucia Air and Seaports Authority and the entire airport community, it is a great pleasure to welcome the expansion operations at this time. This unique service is even more heartwarming as it is done by a longtime partner and customer at the Hiranora International Airport. JetBlue is truly an, in, an integral and valued component of Team HIA. We see this service as timely and embrace its strategic implications as we host both ICC T20 Cricket World Cup this month and next month will be immersed in our carnival celebrations. Team HIA is conscious of the fact that there will be long nights ahead. But we are grateful for the flight experience which will offer new opportunities. Picture this, ladies and gentlemen. A chance to spend a day in New York or even a weekend if the traveler chooses. Very exciting options and worth the thought as it has never been done here before. Another first for our storied HIA. SLASPA looks forward to facilitating this experience. SLASPA expresses thanks to the Ministry of Tourism, the St. Lucia Tourism Authority, and JetBlue for this instrumental role each agency has played in making JetBlue Red Eye Flight a reality. So here's to clear skies and safe nightly travels. I thank you. I represent the interests of the accommodation sector with the St. Lucia Hospitality and Tourism Association and then also the tourism service providers. Um, with the plans with the ICC cricket and carnival coming up, we're really grateful for this flight. There's significant demand coming into the island. And when we look at last year in terms of some of the challenges of getting people in and out, we think that this is a really um, a welcome um, addition. And on behalf of the St. Lucia Hospitality and Tourism Association, we say thank you. And you did something really, really, really exciting because despite the time, all of your passengers came off flying. So, I mean, smiling. So, this, so we want to say thank you so very much and enjoy St. Lucia. Thank you very much. Um, I think the protocol was established, but I think I have to recognize the presence of the Chairman of the Tourism Authority and the President of the Hospitality and Tourism Association. Um, it's, it's getting late, and I'm sure you know, the crew wants to, to, to get a rest. But I, I have to say to you that you, know, you must appreciate why for us this flight is significant. And the point was made that it is introductory, and we JetBlue promised us that they would see how it goes um, for the short period and decide whether it becomes a more permanent fixture. The point is that, you know, in our discussions with JetBlue, and I really wish Lorraine, um, who was the former CEO of the Tourism Authority, um, was here because she really worked hard to get this flight. Um, she lobbied, she sat at a few sessions that I sat in with her and really made the case, you know, for this flight and convinced JetBlue that they should do it. And I, I recall some of the discussions. They, you know, they seen, they were seeing the numbers, the demand for St. Lucia was there. 
but there were issues with equipment. They did not have the equipment um, necessary. And finally, they came up with a solution that they would be able to get a, a plane from one of the domestic routes and, and to be able to use it. And I listened to all the discussions and just trying to see how we can put this flight on. And finally, it has um, you know, become a reality. And we are going to do everything we can to show to JetBlue that it should remain and that at least during the, the, the peak periods, um, jazz, carnival, and the, the winter season, that the flight should exist. St. Lucia is an enchanting destination. Um, and there's so much that we can offer. And I believe that as the, the flight you know, progresses, it will be convincing to JetBlue that it should remain. And for the limited time that you will be here, I hope you get an opportunity to explore St. Lucia and to really let her inspire you, for you to find out all the secrets about St. Lucia and all the things there are for you to enjoy. So let me formally, as Minister of Tourism, welcome you to St. Lucia and to tell you, you are truly welcome in this place. And we hope that you, know, you will keep coming and surely our relationship with JetBlue will continue to prosper. Thank you very much. Um weren't really prepared for this, but uh, we're glad to be here. And my cohort's been down here a few times more than me. This is my second time probably, I think I was down here maybe four years ago, I believe, as a co-pilot. So it's nice to come down here as a captain and have all this warm, <laughs> warm, inviting, uh, open arms. So we appreciate it, and uh, hopefully these flights will continue. Unfortunately, we're here for a pretty short time. We've got to leave tomorrow, but uh, we'll be back. Thank you.